January 18th, I was hired by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service to fly to the Florida Keys in order to help prevent the spread of the New World screwworm fly, which had invaded our shores for the first time in many years. The screwworm fly, not native to the United States, was taking a heavy toll on the endangered Florida Key deer, the smallest deer in North America. Our days start with Bertha, the pickup truck we used for radio telemetry. Radio telemetry is not an exact science. We track the deer using a radio transmitter that is located in their collar. In order to do this, we travel to where the deer is presumed to have been based on previous sightings. And then you wave the radio receiver antenna around in order to determine which direction the deer is in. The beep will grow louder the closer and more directly the radio antenna is pointed at the deer. Here Matt is trying to get a signal on deer number 24. Once located, deer identified by the number on their collar. We will take data on the location of the deer. Uh, we will check to make sure that it doesn't have screw worm, hasn't had a pawn, and that the collar is fitting well. And sometimes we'll take pictures of the deer in order to record its body condition. Yeah, if you wouldn't mind. This deer, number 24, 24, is extremely pregnant, so we're checking in on her regularly to make sure she hasn't had her fawn yet. She's also in very good condition. You can see just how unafraid she is of both Matt and myself. <laughs> While we're changing camera cards and uh, checking bait stations in the backcountry, sometimes the mosquitoes and no see get pretty thick, so we wear bug suits. Bait? Yep. Nice, very good. Mad box. And the donuts. Setting up our Key Deer National Wildlife Refuge Med Station. Yay! Yep. So what am I doing, Lauren? You are loading up the medication, which is Doramectin, which is in the same family as Ivermectin, uh, the type of stuff you give your pets for heartworm. It's just an antiparasitic. And you're going to inject it into these donuts here. Okay. Oh, and then we feed those to the keeper. Nice. Or our volunteers do. If any walk up to us here, we can feed them too. So here we go. This is the technique. <laughs> this is a rare, rarely seen technique. By dosing the deer with duramectin, we're helping prevent additional spread of the screwworm fly. There it is. Preparing donut holes. Dedicated donut holes for a key deer. Yep. I think it's safe to say that this is a once in a lifetime thing you're doing. Okay. Deer here are very used to people feeding them. So when they see someone toss something, they assume that it's a food item. So we use rocks and other debris from the ground for a number of purposes. It was the pregnant one. Here Lauren's using a rock to separate the deer so that she can toss one of the deer a medicated donut hole. There it goes. You got the donut hole. Deer eating donut. Once again Lauren's going to use rocks to lure the deer a little closer so she can mark them with non-toxic paint indicating that they've received a dose. 
doe steer can have a rather funny appearance, especially when they have green ears like this buck. While working here in the tropics is a great privilege, we also deal with a number of hazards like this poison wood, which causes a severe rash. And we also deal with plants that can kill you, like the Guinness Book of World Records holder, most poisonous plant, the manchineel tree. 